I always feel amazed with the scale of this facade. Please remember that this facade was a facade of a church and a church of a college. The first Western University in the extreme east, made by Jesuits. Really next to the church facade, in the right side, you had the main entrance to the college. So you had the church, the community area, and the school. The school was along the stairway. But if we come from this part, the bottom part, you had the service entrance, the courtyard, the waste room, the pantry, the kitchen, some steps up, we have the dining hall. The church had next to it um, the bell tower. Uh, the bell tower had five bells and didn't have a roof, a tiled roof, as the other buildings, had a terrace like a tower guard. The church itself, it's the most visible part of this college, but it was only a tiny piece. Every, every piece of material for construction was a, a problem to get, especially because the, the Chinese authorities, the Mandarin, always thought that every little piece of wood or stone that they brought from China would be to, to build a, a fortress. Probably the type of construction system that we, we have here, it was a way to solve that problem. This system was used in the fortress by the Jesuits again. And every time they wanted to open a, a door, they need to use uh, explosives. Here you can see a type of wall. Taipa, this is Taipa, but always with the stone foundation. Here you can see some remainings of the cubicles. Cubicle came from Kubare. The meaning is rest. The resting cells, the resting rooms. The church was built much earlier than the facade. The facade was only finished in 1637. So there is a huge gap between the construction of the church, the college, and then only after the facade. In uh, 1759, the Prime Minister of Portugal the future Marquis de Pombal expelled the Jesuits from Portugal. The order only arrived in Macau in 1762, I believe. The Jesuits were expelled and the building was abandoned. The military forces used it as a guard's house. And in 1835, in December, there was a fire that started in the kitchen area and spread easily through all the college that was abandoned at that time.